Hey fam bam, welcome back to More Life with Courtney where your inspiration to care for yourself and your home is right here in front of your eyes. Today is a daily vlog. This is actually one of my first vlogs coming from Chateau de More. <laughs> As you all have known, we just did our empty house tour. Jump into what's going on. As you all have seen, um, we haven't fully moved in just yet. We're actually moving in on Friday. Today is Sunday, April 24th. Um, but we've moved in. I actually have moved in a couple of things. I moved in my plants. Um, my mother-in-law gave us some towels and some things. I'm going to go through the, those boxes to see um, what they are, what's going on in those boxes. You saw me bring those in. I actually started bringing some of my clothes in um, from the apartment. We actually had been staying in an apartment for, I guess it would be about ten and a half months now um that's our temporary place until the house got built now that it's built we were actually able to terminate our lease early and i'm glad because who wants to pay rent and mortgage at the same time not me <laughs> but um we actually have some uh errands to run today um uh, where let me look at my phone i have a whole checklist because if i don't write things down or put it in my phone i'm definitely going to forget uh, we're going to go to lowe's today I want to um, see if I can buy up the store and get some uh, of those paper blinds. We're not really in a rush to get our um, window treatment just yet because I really don't know exactly how I want to do it. I don't know if and what rooms I want to put some uh, faux wood blinds in. I might do some uh, sheer curtains in some rooms or maybe the um, motorized blinds. I really don't know just yet. but. Until I figure it out, until we figure it out, we're just going to use the paper blinds. We're not in a rush. Um, as you all know or saw on the empty house tour, we went with standard uh, fixtures in the kitchen as far as the faucets and bathrooms. And, um, and in the bathrooms, we went with the standard knobs. But there are some knobs that I actually really want. I found them on Lowe's online. Um, I actually gave you all a kind of idea of how the look of everything is going to be on my Instagram, on Chateau de More Instagram page. I put the post right here. But I definitely know I want to get those knobs to put on the cabinets in all the bathrooms. I haven't really been sold on the different uh, faucets that I want to put in the bathrooms. But I definitely know which kitchen faucet I want to put in. I'm going to get Brandon to install that. And I think I probably will go ahead and put the knobs in myself. But either way, that's what we're going to get. And I want to go get some cabinet liners to put in here in the kitchen. And um, as you all have seen, our mattress was just delivered. Um, we went ahead and got a... Uh, memory foam mattress this is our first time having one of them I know this all the rant and the rage right now so um, I actually was able to test out one of my neighbors one of my uh, neighborhood besties I don't know if you all remember me referring to um, them but one of them actually got a memory foam mattress and I was able to ask her if I could just feel it and sit on it and see how it felt I didn't hate it it's like some pros and cons I noticed that um, like when you sit on the side of the bed it kind of you know pushes down you kind of sink in or whatever but then when you lay it down it feels good so i guess it's just going to force us not to just be sitting on the bed just to be sitting on it. i know when i was in georgia my grandmother wouldn't allow us or my great aunt or my grandma wouldn't allow us allow us to just sit on the bed in our outside clothes so and we'll have a sitting area anyway so i don't have to worry about that but we got our mattress i'm going to actually go upstairs now i'm trying to see if i can push the mattress all the way upstairs to put it in our bedroom to unbox it and let it inflate so that way by the time we move in on Friday it will be ready for our bed, our new bed.
All right, y'all, so clearly that was a fail. I don't know who I thought I was. <laughs> so, I don't know, but anyway, I got one of my uh, neighbors to come over and help me, and we're gonna be strong ladies together. If y'all are wondering, Brandon is at work. He works a lot, so me, I don't like to wait. I like to get things done when I want it to be done, so. I mean, I do what I gotta do. Like, I don't like waiting, especially for this house. We've been waiting all this time. I'm ready to get to get them. <laughs> all right, so I'm not gonna show us moving it up. I'm sure she doesn't want to be on camera, so I'll just be back when we get the, uh, the mattress upstairs. Okay, y'all, uh, we were able to get the mattress up here. It was a job, but thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So you know who you are. All right, now I'm gonna try to see if I can unbox it and lay it out so we can inflate and be ready for us to move in on Friday. y'all too so now we get to get some real fun going on and I'm glad I'm excited about vlogging and bring you all along the journey all right time to get in here into Lowe's those trips to Lowe's and um, Home Depot was not a total fail. <laughs> I probably will have to order the um, knobs that I want online. Um, if I can't get them online at Lowe's, sorry. If I can't get them online at Lowe's and I'll just buy them, look on Amazon or something like that to see if I can find any that matches the look that I wanna go for. today I actually just brought in some uh, more clothes and shoes and some other boxes and stuff of my own I just feel like it's easier for me to help everybody else move after I get all of my stuff in here now I'm packing I'm not organized I'm just getting everything moved from the apartment and I can give all of my energy to uh, Brandon Braylon and Cece um, but like I said Brandon is on his way home from work well, on, well, this is home, so yes. On his way home here from work, and he has Braylon with him, so you may see Braylon 
but once he gets here i'm so grateful for him because i know he's tired but he will definitely be hooking up this new faucet oh let me show it to y'all first this is the one i end up getting hopefully it focuses on <laughs> this but anyway i got it from lowe's this was the last one that they had at the bottom of the shelf and i'm glad this is exactly what i wanted and um that's what we're going with it was 249 i think originally it was 279 and i got it for 30 dollars off and um yeah but when i got home i love saying that when i got home i saw that we had an amazon package i've only cut it i have not opened it up to see what it is so let's see what we have i think it i think it might be a gift so we're receiving gifts Congratulations on your wedding nuptials and your new life together. Enjoy your gift from the Howard family for your new home. Love, a friend. <laughs> I'm not going to say who it is, but thank you so much to who you are. Basically, we're receiving gifts, y'all, because um, if you don't know, Brendan and I, we just got married last year, February of 2021. And the plan was to have our big, huge uh, grand ceremony in St. Lucia last year. But because, you know, all that was going on, we decided that we were going to move it to this year. So we'll be going to St. Lucia this summer to celebrate our wedding and um, I sent out the registry information to all of our family and friends. I'll link it down below in case you all want to see it, um, get any ideas, give us any gifts, whatever the case may be. But I'm glad that we're finally able to celebrate our wedding like we originally planned. So let me see if I can, I can use an ink pad. Like I said, I don't have any scissors with me, which is a bummer. But let me see if I can get this open, hold on. All right. Sometimes you gotta make do with what you got. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is so good. I can't wait. I definitely will match with our kitchen. Um, of course, it hasn't been put together, so I'll post a picture up here of what it's supposed to look like. But these are the racks that will be used. And it's like a serving tray. I'm glad they packaged this really well. A lot of different styrofoam. But basically, it is a three tier uh, serving tray. And like I said, I'll post a picture so you all can see it. But it's three of these trays with the black. Um, things to hold the trays <laughs> so thank you thank you thank you so much again like i said i will post our or i put the link to our registry down below in case you all want to be ever so generous <laughs> but yes all right so while we're waiting on brandon i'm going to take some of this stuff up to our room and put certain boxes in rooms that they belong in okay guys while i was waiting on brandon to get home i decided to start putting up these paper blinds as you can see i am measuring the window and then cutting the blind to match the size or the width of the window and then as i did that i put the sticky portion up at the top of the window not on the actual um, drywall but on the top of the window itself so that way it won't damage any drywall when it's time to take it off all right guys brandon just got home and so now we're about to get everything set up for switching out the um, faucet
you guys. So it looks as though we have to take the nozzle off the hose and run the water for some time. It said, it says run the water for about 15 seconds. And why, why do we have to do that? To let out and a little bit of air that probably got in. To let out some particles, trash, or air and let it run for about 15 seconds. Now he's gonna put the nozzle back on the hose. Okay, y'all, that's it for this week's video. Um, we got a lot done, got a lot accomplished. Um, the next time you'll see me, I will be uh, replacing the knobs on the bathroom cabinets and we'll actually be moving on Friday, as I said. So it'll be a bit of DIY and moving vlog. Thank you all so much for sticking around. Um, make sure you all are following us on Instagram at Chateau de More. I look a hot mess because I've been working. <laughs> But um, yeah, so make sure you all are following us on Instagram. Um, sometimes IG sees things before you all see them on YouTube, so make sure you're following us. If you want to follow my personal page, my personal page is More Life with Courtney on Instagram. And um, I think that's it. Thank you again so much for sticking around. Make sure you subscribe if this is something that you are interested in. I'll uh, be doing more home updates, home decor, and DIY projects and we'll also be getting into how to make sure you're staying um, aware of your own self, um, your mental health, self-care, and a lot of things like that. I definitely owe myself a lot of self-care because this process has been very strenuous <laughs> and tiring and this is only the beginning. And why didn't anybody tell me that having hardwood floors or hard floors was gonna hurt your feet so much? <laughs> Cause honey, these dogs is barking. <laughs> so I know, yes, we're definitely gonna be a no shoe household, I guess outside shoe, but I'm gonna have to invest in me some nice soft house shoes. I'll be looking into that. Maybe you'll get the update on Instagram. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Make sure you're subscribed and have that bell uh, notification on so you won't miss any future videos. All right, thank you again. Bye.